All right, Coach, uh, exhibition game, uh, good for a lot of things. Obviously a chance for the new guys to get in front of the, the lights for the, the first time, in front of the fans, et cetera. What did you like about your team's performance tonight, and, and what would you like to see them do better? You know, um, I mean, first of all, um, to your point, Brian, I mean, we're, we're on November 1st, and, you know, I, I don't really follow the national games, but there's just a number of teams like ours with a lot of – new faces and uh, if you, you follow a couple of these scores of exhibition games especially when you play against a solid division two team like chico state that um you know it's not as easy as as maybe the perception would would make it uh, and you know they did a really good job against us um in both halves and we learned a lot about our team and if if you really think about it that's what tonight was about to improve to get better and uh to kind of grow from where we were. And I think all those things uh, certainly happened. You know, nine turnovers in the first half. We didn't come out with the confidence that we, that, that you know, you want to have. Again, a lot of uh, guys in new roles. And uh, the nine turnovers really put a lot of pressure on our halftime score. The good news is we played the entire second half with only three turnovers. Uh, I think that's a real positive. Our defense at times wasn't good, but it was better in the second half than it was in the first. And, you know, when you play good defense, you have the opportunity to get out and transition. And, and then, you know, I think the last part for us, Brian, is just still in search of, of the identity of our offense. You know, if you, if you watch our offense uh, in the first half, we only shot five free throws, which is never a good sign, and we took 12 threes, and we made three. And I would say a handful of those 12 threes just weren't good shots. And, you know, when you you shoot 35, 37%, you know, because you get to the line only five times and you have 12 threes, again, nine turnovers, that's why the score is 33-32 at the half. If you look at our second half, we shot 21 free throws. We took only five threes, and we were 14 for 29 from the field, which is 48%. So you could tell that the second half we were shooting inside shots, twos. We got more drives. We got to the foul line more. And uh, that's always a better sign of, of good offense. So we'll learn from it. And a lot of guys out there for the first time, there's nothing like playing a game, you know, in McHale. And uh, I think sometimes it's just a matter of getting that one game under your belt. Sure. Matt Muehlbach had mentioned early in the second half there that he sensed that in the halftime locker room that you talked to your guys about being more aggressive on the offensive end and, and driving the ball. <clears throat> and it, is that indeed what you wanted to see them do? And, and they did get into the line more. Mm -hmm. Well, no doubt about it. You know, Chico State, they play man-to-man, -man, but they play hard and they extend. And uh, that threw us off a little bit. Again, we're early in the year. We don't really play the man-to-man -man style that they do. So you're seeing things for the first time. Again, back to the first 20 minutes, nine turnovers. But we played against the same team in the, in the second half. And, again, having only three turnovers and getting to the line the way we did, we were a much better offensive team in the second half. And I thought we missed a couple as well. You know, we talked to both Ira and Chase. If you, if you add them up, they were 11 for 21 from the field and they had 21 rebounds. The two of them, they did a good job, 27 points. But I think they had 27. To me, they could have had 35. You okay. know, we had a couple other good opportunities that uh, normally they finish. If this game would have counted, Ira Lee would have a career high with his 14 rebounds. He looks like he's in the best shape of his life mm -hmm. and somebody that uh, if the ball's anywhere close, he's going he's gonna to get it. I mean, yeah, effort, effort is never a problem with Ira. I mean, it, there's no questioning his mentality, and he plays the game hard. He really cares a lot about winning. And, you know, Brian, there's something to be said about going through a couple years, and then, you know, he's a junior now. So in Ira's case, he's much more seasoned and experienced this year than he would have been in the past. I think he's an overall better player. I, I know you like playing this Chico State team. They're very well coached, and this might be one of their more talented teams that we've seen. You don't see size like that That's in right. a lot of D2 teams. Uh, so I know from your perspective, you probably like the fact that they pushed your guys. De no doubt. And, you know, for us, we played St. Mary's in a scrimmage, and St. Mary's is obviously a very good team and very well coached. I think we benefited a tremendous amount from that. And uh, tonight we benefited from uh, playing – playing it like you said a bigger team they were bigger than we were yeah. and uh you know not oftentimes the case so you know that size we saw is a sign of things to come all right thanks coach see you next week you got all it. right head coach sean miller here courtside wildcats beat chico state 74 to 65